so hi guys welcome back to the channel so if you're new here and today happens to be the first time you'll be on this channel i would love you to stay so kindly subscribe to join this family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today now, it's been quite a long time since i've been you know wanting to do this video actually my husband has been advising me to do this video also friends of mine have been advising me to do this video because they've realized that after uni when i did international tourism management i've not done anything with my certificate well literally i'm working with it however uh on this channel i was just you know trying to see what i can do on my youtube channel if you're new here maybe you don't know what i've been doing on my channel i do cooking videos travel family vlogs uh talk about faith and uh, everything that concerns lifestyle basically however i have not really touched on travel guidelines such as you know talking about what you need before you travel as with a Ghanaian passport not only with a Ghanaian passport but let's make it in general so other people who are also my subscribers will also literally get well informed before they travel so in today's video let's just say i'm just gonna you know touch on these step these tips I hope this is going to be helpful and this video is going to be useful to most of you. So I've been having lots and lots and lots of emails concerning especially visas. First of all, let me issue a disclaimer. I only work for an airline and even with the airline that I work with, we are not obliged to literally discuss about visas. This is because we only deal with tickets, we only deal with booking uh, flights, any concerns regarding your ticket or your flight, if you've uh, missed your flight and so on and so forth. So this is basically what we deal with. However, when it comes to visas, let me just use Emirates Airline for example. Early last year, uh, Ghana brought out the list of the countries that where you can travel with visa free, uh, e-visas, uh, visa on arrival. For instance, Dubai, you need a visa to go there. I'm saying that because I'm holding an Italian passport and I live in the UK with my husband. My husband holds a Ghanaian passport and he lives in the UK. Although he's got an indefinite leave to remain, which means he can live in the UK, work, do everything he wants to do. However, if he wants to travel with his Ghanaian passport, he will need to, you know, read the information from that, that particular country if he needs a visa or not. So let's, as I was saying with Dubai, we went there last year in December and before we left, we used Emirates Airline. And with Emirates Airline, they've made it easier for passengers if you want to travel with them. You literally book the ticket. That's the first thing you have to do. Second, I'm talking about Ghanaian passports to be precise. You book your ticket first and once you book your ticket, it tells you that you need a visa. So you can do the application directly through the website, it takes you through the process. It tells you that you need a passport picture, you need your passports, you also need um, your proof of evidence of where you're going to live and also your bank statement as well. As I said, it depends if you are. It depends on where you're traveling to. And Dubai, they need all these things. Earlier today, I think I read from a subscriber asking me this question. I'm just going to pop it on the screen. Name from Ghana. And she was asking me a question about sponsor. That if you want to travel to uh, United Arab Emirates, they demand you to have a sponsor. And that how you're going to get it. Well, I did, you know, answer her question. But let me just do it, uh, explain again in this video. If you're traveling to Dubai as a tourist, alone, and not to go and visit a family or somebody. Obviously, then they don't need you to, you know, produce all the details that they require from you on the which is shown on the website. For instance, as I said, assuming my husband, as as my husband was traveling, so we did the whole process, asking for the passport, all the details that they needed. We we had them and we gave them all the details, and then through it, you just make the payment, and then it that's all the process on Emirates website. However, if you're not flying with Emirates, as I said, if you're not flying with Emirates, I would advise you, first of all, to speak to the airline you're traveling with. Like, assuming you're flying with British Airways or KLM, you have to speak to them to see whether they, they have any advice on visas, whether they do, you know, you can really apply for the visa on their website like Emirates. If they don't, then I advise you that the best place 
or the only way you can apply for a visa to the UAE, which is Dubai, to go and see Dubai, is through dubai.visa.net. That is the actual website. Any other websites, it is not genuine. You just apply for the visa through dubai.visa.net. That's where you need to apply for the visa. If you're flying from the UK, probably you need uh, an advice on, I mean, how to go about, you know, applying for your visa. As I said, if it was, if you're only flying with Emirates, I am here to help. Yes, because I've got a bunch of people sending me emails, asking me questions, uh, how to apply for the visa, how much is the visa cost, where they have to get the visa, who they need to speak with. As I said, all the airlines, I'm not only speaking about Emirates, they are not obliged to give you information on visas. Yeah, they'll give you a general information about visas that you need a visa before you, you travel to uh, Dubai. However, they have a specific... Uh, website that you have to go and that's the dubai.visa.net that is where you have to apply for the visa so don't be so surprised or shocked if you phone let's say british airways or klm or let's say lufthansa or let's say uh, other airlines and they tell you that oh we do not have any information about visas but they advise you to you know uh check on the on google and see if you can get uh, a place where to apply for your visa that is what normally people say if it's not vf uh, vfs global that's for other countries for ghana applying for visa through emirates i would say you can do it directly through uh, emirates website however if it's another country you're flying to the best place to apply for your visa if it's a Schengen visa or if it's a Schengen visa you have to go to the actual country that you're flying to their uh, website so you have all the information there exactly yeah, so this is what I need to say. Before you travel, do not panic. If you're flying with a travel agent, it's even easier for you because your travel agent does everything for you. Books the ticket, your visa, your accommodation, and uh, your transfers, and even anything that you need or concerning your flights, they really, I mean, assist you with that. But if you are booking it directly through the airline that you're flying with, they might not give you all the information, especially regarding uh, visas. And that is where... I come in and I tell you, do apply for the visa directly from the country's uh, website. For instance, if you're, tra if you're traveling to France, you have to go to France website. Uh, they have, uh, what's it called? The immigration website and apply for the visa. Don't go seeking advice for a third party's website or whatsoever because they might mislead you. So this is all that I have to say. So before you travel, I have these, um, these five tips for you before you travel. Things that any things that the airline will ask you if you want to travel as a tourist and number one is and number one is so before you travel you need definitely your passport and your passport has to be not less than six months before it expired it has to be more than that so let's just say that you are traveling to dubai for instance and your passport will expire in a month i'm afraid you can't travel it has to be six months ahead more than six months before you can travel to i think any part of the world that's what they will say but to be precise with dubai i would say don't travel if your passport is less than a month because they will not allow you in exactly and uh secondly i would say uh and the second thing on my list would be you have to have a valid uh health certificate Nowadays, if you are traveling, what I mean by health certificates, I mean travel insurance. You need to get your own travel insurance. Some of the airlines, they do have a travel insurance, which is included in the flight. With Emirates, they do that. However, if you want to get your own, you can get your own personal one. In, when it comes to COVID-19, that is where Emirates covers, you know, uh, covers you when, in case you result positive at the country of where you flew to. However, if you're traveling nowadays, they ask you for your COVID passports. Some of the countries with Emirates, if you have your COVID, um, if you have your COVID card, like with the NHS in the UK, I'm just gonna pop it up here how it looks like. If you've had your first and your second dose, how it's looking, like. so you can just show that, or you can show it on your app, the NHS app, if you, and then you'll be fine to go. The next step would be a proof of a return ticket. If you're flying as a tourist to any country. 
one thing that they will ask you or they will allow you into their country is if you have a return ticket. If you do not have a return ticket, no, they will not let you in. That's if you want to travel as a tourist because in their head, they are like, if this person comes, he or she is not going to leave their country. They are going to stay. Do you get it? Uh-huh. So get the right visa, get the right information. Don't just travel or booking your ticket one way because you want to just run away from a country from, from your country to a different country. Do the right thing so you don't get involved into getting yourself arrested, literally. And the third thing would be uh, evidence of accommodation or reservation. So where you're going to stay, if you're staying with family, or if you're going to rent a hotel, or if you're going to rent an apartment, Airbnb, all that, I'm going to touch that in separate videos. How to travel cheap, what apps you need to use, where you need to book your uh, flight, and uh, I'm going to touch on everything, literally. So let's just start with this video today. So before you travel, things that you need, five tips that you need to check before you are, before you travel, literally. So evidence of the accommodation. And then the fourth thing would be a uh, basic travel allowance, enough to cover your entire stay. So some of uh, the countries, for instance, Greece, we wanted to travel to Greece. However, we are not going to travel to Greece anymore because the demands that they were asking and the visa that we wanted to apply for, it takes literally more up to 15 days. Sometimes it can even go over. So we decided not to go to Greece. However, they requested that they need evidence of how much you're going to spend per day. You have to spend more than at least 50 euros. Do you get what I mean? Exactly. So they need evidence of your bank accounts. Maybe let's say you have thousand pounds, up to thousand pounds. In their head, they're like, oh, this person, when the person comes, the person is not going to stay. The person is going to go back to their country. So they cannot even afford to live here whilst they are enjoying their holiday. So that would be all. These are the five tips that I'm going to, you know, suggest to you guys. If you want to travel, before you travel, you need a valid passport, a valid health certificate, Either is the travel insurance and also the COVID, you know, certificate. That's if you've not had any doses, you have to do it. If you've already had, if you've already done it, then you have to just show the card or a paper or uh, NHS app. That's if you are living in the UK like us. And you need to have a proof of a return ticket, not a one-way ticket, a return ticket. So this will be all and this is the end of the video. So if this video really inspired you, kindly like the video. Share this video to one or two or three people that you know so they can be inspired, so they can be inspired and also know what to you know uh have before they travel. And if you've not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? I would really love you, yes, you, you to subscribe to join my family. Thank you so much for you know tuning in today. Remember to keep spreading love and keep spreading peace. It's your girl, your favorite petite. I love you guys. Ciao, au revoir. Wow.